Hello out there, everyone. I am DJ Particle. This is Particle Play Live. How is everyone doing today? Well, wait a minute. I gotta get someone else's uh, name in there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're, we're getting your stuff up there, Hero Chris. We're getting your stuff in. We're getting your stuff in. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Hero Chris, well, we got Hero Chris and Ronko Ashino in the Discord. Hey, Chris, Ronko, what's up? Howdy. Not that much. <laughs> getting some practice Pretty well. in. How what? Mm -hmm. I say getting some practice in, huh? No. Yep. No? Oh. Well, I, oh, I because I know it's here because I know it's some um, Hero Chris is. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just, oh, I just oh, decided, hey, I just decided hey, to get the bowling hey, thing started. Try and practice. Yo. Ah, Hero Chris with a strike. Yep. Uh -huh. I ended up doing some uh, level grinding on the black version adventure while waiting for bowling time. Ah. Mm. Oh, he was being a little stubborn with the shaking grass. <laughs> Yeah, I said you get, grab that audio interface thingy for the audio, a DS audio capture. Yeah. Gosh, right. Pop Up Girls has really been enjoyable so far. Like, I can't believe this show has been so enjoyable again. Once again. So, I. It's not a big deal if I only hear one channel of audio. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm just waiting for Hero Chris to get his practice string done. I haven't booted this game up in a while. I know, not since uh, Outrun the Bear. <laughs> Which, by the way, for those of you who uh, missed mm. that tournament, Ronko was our grand winner. She uh, decided to get Super Mario Wonder. Via Amazon. Oh, cool, yeah. nice. Yeah, I have yeah. another copy on the way. I have, I have a Super Mario Brothers Wonder game case with no game card. Yeah, she ordered, she ordered the game, and it came mm -hmm. without a card. Yeah, so they, re I got a refund through Amazon and ordered from someone else through it. that is getting that taken care of. It's the the new copy should be on the way. Ah, uh, okay. It's been shipped out anyway. Ooh. Yeah, I couldn't get the one day shipping to happen again. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should try Best Buy. You know. I don't have Best Buy gift card funds. Oh, I don't have that. I, I buy through Amazon oh. because that's the only place I can actually have money. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's like, for safety purposes, I'd rather do the ordering myself, you know? And that's just kind of the best way to do it. Mm. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, Ronco, I mean, it's your I mean, if you earn money, you can, like, save them, like, in your bank account, so... I don't have a bank account. Oh. <laughs> well, too bad. Why do I... Why would I need a bank account anyway, since I have no income either? I have my own, um, Everbank. Oh. It's from the paychecks I get from working at a supermarket. Yeah, I don't have a job. Yeah, it is my job, yeah. So a second chance. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see what Ronco can do. Not a whole lot for Not this Not a whole frame. lot, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that leave was kind of. Been a while since we've had Hero Chris with us. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's hear me split. Oh God, again. That split comes up so often in this simulator. Well, I turned off the switch to bring power to my computer. Fortunately, I'm not the only one. That always seems to affect everyone in the building, and the service providers are aware of the issue. Oh. Just barely got the 10. Oh, gee. Mm -hmm. I will say this, and this was discussed in the um, Discord, too. Oh, by the way, it's your turn, Chris. 
Um, sure. Basically, um, you know, you know that once that playtest starts, that someone's going to leak it. Someone's I didn't sign an NDA when I... Okay, you know what? I just realized I'm okay to talk about the fact that I went uh, that I participated in the in the Mario Kart Tour Plays Beta because I didn't sign an NDA. <laughs> yeah, but what's the point? So <laughs> yeah, I know because that's so long ago. But the fact of the matter is, I did get to participate in that Plays Beta. It was all right. Yeah, well, yeah, well. The game, as far as I've seen, the game has gotten better since then, of course. Oh, jeez. Not yeah, facts, but again, like... It's interesting. It was interesting, though. Yeah. For sure. I'm not going to say too much, because there's, there's, some... there's less yeah. to say than there is for the current version of the game, anyway. I would say, for the feature I was hoping for, a GameCube Switch Online. But, wish it didn't come through, so... Eh. Maybe that's what they're testing. Mm, That'd be hilarious. Mean... <laughs> it I mean, be. the Switch has GameCube too. controller compatibility through the Smash adapter. Also, do you know that one thing they this weird we announced the Nintendo alarm clock? Alarmo, that, oh yeah. Yeah, the alarmo thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I that. reminds me of Amazing from DC Animated Universe. Oh jeez, <laughs> it's alarmo. the robot. The the Mega Manning robot, basically, but you didn't actually mm -hmm. defeat anyone. He just copies up the ah, his abilities and just used them against them. But he was being lied to by Lex Luthor, as per usual. Hey, speaking of that, Ooh. there was the episode where Mojo Jojo uses like uh, this is some of like the superpower. Um, the superpowers, like, this power of girls, they share them to, like, kids of citizens to destroy them. But, um, mm. some more of this episode, like, don't uh, say no to, like, do not listen to, like, a stranger, you know, who gives you, like, the power, you know, so. And, you know, they completely just wear off. I forgot to set the game and, and she can't play your order. Uh, it's your turn, Ronko. Uh, hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm. This stadium should look familiar. Oh. Yeah. Curses. Uh. Curses. <laughs> Curses. Dude, I can't... Dude, that <laughs> line from season one. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So right. once again, the day was made by Mojo, Fuzzy, and M. <laughs> As the Gang Green yeah. Gang was doing prank calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? All right, Ronco, it is your turn. Cake, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm only getting one channel of audio, but who cares? You're supposed to save money and that thing was announced that anything Splatoon versus your feeling you should save money is pretty much always the same result. Oh yeah. There's also that powerful episode called um, Twisted Sister where there's they do something with like a debut like a poor of a girl, but mm -hmm. it becomes unstable until it basically You mean Bonnie, right? Yeah, it's Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she is oh like, she's wow. a good. She's a good girl. It's just a shame that she didn't last beyond the episode. I know. Yeah, pretty. It's a pretty sad way to like end her her just, appearance. Just start, like and, and, start and in her life. Start and her life. Yeah. So. On one episode, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh well. Oh jeez. At least she did good. Yeah. Good indeed. Unfortunately, she kind of screwed us up when she helped some of the bad guys, you know, come out of the... the she pizza. tried. Yeah, she did. tried. All oh, right, well. Chris. Anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, dude. Bad. Bad. 
guess that it, the game, the Itadaki Street DS game, is at the is at Mario Stadium. Finger roll. Nice. Oh. Greetings. Oh, GC, hey. welcome back. GC, All right. what's up? Yeah, all right. Well, anyways, Xander and I are actually getting off early here because we got to go uh, wake up really tomorrow to catch the cruise. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your carnival cruise. Oh, yeah. Well, anyways, oh, well, yeah. apparently, though, I actually got the name of, of the carnival ship that we're going on here. It's called Carnival uh, Jubilee, if that's what it's called. Oh, Jubilee, like the X-Men? I... If, if it comes with double E's, then yeah. Yeah. That is how her, her hero name is spelled. All right, so anyways, uh, even though yeah, we actually got off around 11 here, the, but in this case, since we have to wake up to catch a cruise here, we got to get off around the usual time we get off on our other, yeah, previous uh, dream days. But uh, I'm actually planning on, uh, on the Tuesday uh, after the next Tuesday here, uh, if uh, that's how you say it here. I'm actually planning on doing like a late be uh, birthday uh, stream where Xander and I are going to ah, be damn it. St streaming Dead Rising 3. Co-op, that is. Hey. All right, right Marco. All right, hold on. Then maybe after that, we'll probably do like some remote play. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cult of the Lamb here. Cult of the Sheep. Yeah, well, become a I don't know. Join the I don't membership. know. I don't know what, if you actually know about this particle here, but apparently, you can actually invite other people to join you for some co-op here in just a one game here called Remote Play, and it's amazing. All right. All right, well, anyways, well, okay. all right, well, anyways, so we'll, all right, so keep in mind, y'all, that Xander and I, uh, I won't be live for the whole next week, week here. Oh. Yeah. All right, so anyways, <laughs> well, just a heads up, y'all, Xander and I won't be live apparently next week here because of the cruise here, so bear that in mind. All right. All right, um, we've got, um, Hero Chris, your turn. All mm -hmm. right. Alright. Alright, Xander, I'm hopping back in! Oh, strike! Oh, I want another one, dude. Two in a row. But yeah, I'm almost done with the Pokemon Black Adventure, the main story stuff. Mm. Ah. It's gonna take on the Four Challenge and so on. All right. At at the time of this recording. All right. My turn. Nice. Hey, Speed Demon. The episode is like where uh, the Power Girls like yeah, rake, they they, they rake each this. other and they go so fast that they end up in the future where him took over the world. Yeah, yeah, and Miss yeah. E was just there waving for years for no good reason. Yeah, oh boy. They'll come back. It's they'll so come back. creepy. They'll come back. Yeah. They'll, co they'll come and back. They, I mean, they, they say always goodbye, come back. And they, they never get... No, oh, yeah. And they never oh, came yeah. back. Oh, that's right. And, <laughs> and there we were, just saying <laughs> It's <off>. insane. <laughs> Like, that episode's kind of insane when you think about it. It's like, it why really was she still is. there raving the whole freaking time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because she was not so crazy. 
I guess Miss Keen is a little off her rocker sometimes. <laughs> Go ahead, Ronco. <laughs> Hey there, oh, GC. Have a nice flirt. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is this is why I chose him as my my favorite. Role. Like she, she. I mean, I mean he. I mean, yeah, he. I mean, his name is, is, we call him he, him for a reason. Yes, Le like lesbian, you know. So, but um, him. yeah, he's like some fans like, have interpreted ha the H I M as being his infernal majesty, but that's a, a fan, that's a fan thing only. Right. Right. Yeah. He's, Wait, he's literally the... the devil, though. Yeah, like the most like mm -hmm. threatening and has full the potential. The most evil, but the most hilarious at the same time. Sometimes. Yeah. What a ham. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, he, he, sometimes evil is simply hammy. That's all there is to it, and it's funny. <laughs> right. I mean, there's a reason laughably evil is a trope. Mm-hmm. Laughably evil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay, roadblock! Sure. Deny me my spear. Oh. <laughs> and yes, well, I, I actually got to go to the laundromat today. Watch some more Samurai Jack. Yes, I am still te uh, still on season one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I have the full Blu-ray collection. Uh, Here, Chris, you should watch uh, Samurai Jack. It's really good. Samurai Jack? Is that an anime? That's a it's a Cartoon Network thing. Oh. All right, Chris, yeah, go first, ahead. Yeah, the first four se the first four seasons were aired on Cartoon Network in the early two thousands, and it. Kind of said it suddenly was not kept, kept going. It and then it and then it was brought back on Adult Swim a few years ago for the fifth oh. season, which actually ended the series. Oh. A little bit shorter. It's like a few episodes shorter than the first four seasons, but overall, yeah, it's on Adult Swim because it ended up being kind of darker and edgier. Oh dang! Yeah, I mean that's true. So compared to the first four seasons, but. Yeah, I have the full Blu-ray collection. Yeah, I'll watch that at some point after I finish Power Girls throughout the rest of the season. It's really good. Yeah. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we got spared! It's made by the same person that created the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's interesting, yeah. Yeah. So. Alright. Mm -hmm. Why some of the characters kind of look similar. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they just hired some great writers. Yeah, there's wow. a talking dog a bullet. The talking dog billboard pops up very early in the series after Samurai hey, Jack is into the that feature. Uh oh, uh, <laughs> that's okay, hilarious. Well, okay, well, I mean, you just spoiled one thing, so. <laughs> but like, it's oh. an early thing. It's a very uh -oh. early thing. Ooh, Nothing important. It's just a funny reference from Samurai Jack to Powerpuff Girls. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And You'll have a laugh at that one. Oh, but like yeah. overall, yeah, this 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 the show is really good. And eight on that spare. Nice. Scored strong for a 138. Go ahead, Ronko. Yeah, the animation looks a little like so like. There are clean. absolutely no outlines in the art. No outlines, wow. Yeah. But it works so well. Mm hmm. Yeah, it needed, it needed the that. Art style is just really good. Mm hmm. Jack being voiced by Bill Lamar. I never actually learned yeah. what his name is, by the way. Hmm? Yeah. Evan, Michael Richardson. The samurai's name is never actually stated in series. Uh, yeah. And Tower Strong, he was the voice of... It just takes up the Jack name that uh, the other characters had referred to him early on as. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. And then... 
Iwamachi Maku voice, originally voiced Aku until he died. Alright, Rocco oh, with point. a 122. And go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Mako also voiced Iru from uh, the last, uh, 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 yeah, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh. Mm. Mm. It was him that caused Iru to be a, a good character in the long run, instead of being a, a bit of a tougher character. Wow. Yeah, fascinating stuff. So. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, he also voiced Aku originally. The first four seasons, uh -huh. yeah. Uh huh. I had to find someone else for uh, Aki's voice for the fifth season. And that. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Well, trust me, you are going to have a good time with Samurai Jack. If you decide to, if like you will, you would have a fun time watching that if you decide yeah, to watch I, it. Yeah, I know. It's also a theory that Jack is the professor in Powerpuff Girls, but it makes no sense. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, they look similar, sure, but that's just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, same difference though. Well, yeah. Uh... Sure. <laughs> Keep bringing up that silly theory. <laughs> All right. Five. <sighs> One fifty-three. Nice. Here we go. Let us start the second round. It is. I mean, I should record some uh, Splatoon 3 tomorrow. To see me an excuse to grab the Splatoon 2 gear. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got my whole playthrough of Echoes of Wisdom. Hey, there we go. That is, like, on, exported on YouTube. Koi also played that game all the way through on stream. Oh. Koi stream. Oh, yeah, the guy no. I typically raid for like the yeah. past randomized for activities at night. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He played through that game. Pink Kitty Riz was going to stream through the game, but there was too much backseating. Oh. Uh, it also happened right. with, with the. Alright, so this is going to be the last time I'm going to hop in this VC for tonight here before Xander and I hit the bed early. Ah. Uh. Uh. Unless you'll be hitting the bed and not the other way around. <laughs> Hit the well. bed, don't let the bed hit you. Don't let the bed hit you. Oh yeah, the I bed hitting go. you, yeah. Yeah, All that's right, a pain Rocco, in the ass here, because you'll... <laughs> yeah, well, because you'll knock your ankle into something here. Way worse uh -huh. than stubbing your toe. Yeah. I to be fair, but I, 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 uh, a few years ago, I had already removed the frame off of my bed because my cat would keep getting under it and hiding. Also, I kind of wanted to keep light from across the I road. I also did the same thing with my bed frame. I basically just sawed off the legs of the bed. No, I just, I just removed the, the leg frame stuff and put them in a spare bedroom for a couple reasons. Cat, the cat that I used to have, and uh, sometimes uh, one of the houses across the road would leave their front door light on, and my blinds weren't always what they could have been. Like uh, my previous blinds didn't exactly always keep the light out, and my old blinds right, didn't keep the light out either. So it's like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna set my mattress straight on the floor. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, I gotta set my thing. I couldn't saw the legs off because the frame is metal. All right. So, anyways, I gotta set my. Ah. Wow. All right. So, anyways, I gotta set my uh uh yeah uh yeah channels scheduled to vacation mode. All right. Also, Emmy. Emmy? Uh, Emmy? Article? 
Did you see? Yeah. Oh. What's up? Are you okay? Yeah. I was just waiting for you, Ronko. You did, I didn't hear you say anything. You didn't? Nope. Oh. Hey, by the way, I, I looked at my, my, my alarm clock yesterday. Mm-hmm. After stream. Mm -hmm. I have a Magnavox uh, alarm clock. Well, that just exactly oh, that? things. Oh, I have a Magnavox Odyssey? Magnavox? Magnavox alarm clock. It's a digital alarm clock with a built in radio and two alarms. The only Magnavox I know of is the Magnavox Odyssey, which I believe is yeah, like the first home console back in the 70s. But yeah, it's the same company, Magnavox. And yeah, well, anyway, well, the first time I actually heard of Magnavox was their, uh, was their home uh, yeah, console here, the Magnavox Odyssey, yeah, back in the wow. 70s. That's the first thing you've heard of from Magnavox, huh? And yeah, well, anyway, well, apparently, though, they make other well... stuff, obviously. Oh. What? Uh. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, but not only TVs, that, though, but I also TVs, apparently... I, alarm clocks. I, hold on, not only that, though, but I also checked out, like, the Angry hey, Video Game Nerd video out. for it here. I also checked out the Angry oh. Video Game Nerd video for it here, and it was actually quite amazing oh, here. Wow. Like, hell, it's man. It's a video get... game console. Uh, yeah, it is, man. All you do is basically just move some... Dots move a line. Here. All you, you do just is just move, move a line and that's it. You move things around and, and you just pretend you're playing a game. Yeah. Hey, anyway, well, that's basically what it is. That Not only that, though, way. but he also showed the Magnavox, uh, a Odyssey rifle, which, I kid you not, looked almost e exactly like a real-life rifle. The Odyssey doesn't surprised. fuck around, huh? Uh. Well, video, well, video games and their accessories were pretty different back then. That's before the rules were put in place to, to make sure the guns don't look real. What? Oh no! What? What's up? Oh, Dana forgot to take her pills. Hmm. What pills? Also, here, Chris, it's your turn. Yeah, no, he yeah. he's already started. Alright. Yeah. I right, hold on. Yeah, he beat me to it. <laughs> I, I not only that though, but I gotta hurry up and take my night meds and hit the bed here before it hits me. All right, yeah. so anyways, we'll take care, y'all. This is gonna be the last time I'm gonna hop in this VC here, so uh, yeah. Have so. a good time, GC. You and Xander. Stay All safe. Right. Out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, all right. right, so let's just hope that we don't get hit by that hurricane here, because I think we're taking like a. I like a trip down to Mexico again, I think. Shouldn't the Costa be Maya down there, there right in Mexico, anyway. but uh, yeah, there shouldn't be anything like that going on right now. The you huh. know what, what hurricane are you talking about, GC? Uh, well, the one that's in the Gulf of Mexico that's hitting Florida, but I think that's already happened. That's long gone. What? That's in the Atlantic Ocean, post tropical right now. All right. Yeah, well, anyways. I was just gonna say the. I was just yeah. gonna, I was just gonna say storming Milton's out the sea. Long, Milton's long gone, basically. Yeah, it's storming right. out the sea. No, no bad weather down there for now. Oh, almost. All right. So, anyways, I'm gonna get off for tonight here. So, I'm gonna post some things in uh, a Xander's vacation chat here, and maybe also in the general chat, if that's uh, okay. That's okay. Oh, strike. All right, so anyways, yep. maybe I could probably take right. some pictures around the cruise ship and show y'all here. But anyways, take care, y'all. I'm getting off for tonight. All right, GC, see you later. Bye. Bye. All right, see y'all. Rocco, it is your turn. All right, so anyways, well, uh, all right, so see y'all on the 21st of October. All right, see you. Oh, oh, oh no, Why do, how do I keep ending up in this, this embarrassing position? That's Where's Spread that Eagle. Where's that? Mikan oh, where's and his Spread Eagle in, in in the Senchuti Rafiti game. Oh, God. <laughs> Tied oh, up. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's yeah, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor girl. I know. <laughs> oh well. Strike ten pin bowling. Nice. Everyone out here got a strike. There you go. Holy crap, I'm and I'm, I'm, my character's in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hero Chris, go ahead. It's my character against all three S rank uh, CPUs. No Patty is not in the DS game. She would be noted as a real leader. Oh, this, this is the middle one. God, that's the one that's going to do. Carefully plugging in the the charger. Mm -hmm. I had this DS for quite a while, actually. Again, it was kindly donated to me for free by Goddess Maria Tass. Mm. A hardware modified original Nintendo DS for video capture purposes. Ah. By Luffy. Oh. Who also had made 3DS capture boards for the original 3DS model. Hey, I spare. believe he's somewhere in Utah or something like that. Somewhere in the western U.S. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can... Nope, too full. All right. Take me out to the bowl game. Take me out to the bowl game. All right, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Ronco. Uh, we got bowling in... A we got bowling in a baseball field going on. We got bowling mm -hmm. lanes in a baseball field going on here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, split. there's that one. There's that one South Park episode where like um, Randy fights like a uh, dad if they're in the base. What the fuck he's talking about? Well, see him. <laughs> I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Oh jeez. I'm talking about South Park stuff. You know. I know it's... it exists, but I don't watch that stuff. That's that's edgy. I mean, you know, it's it's all I got the humor. Yeah, I know, but I don't care. That stuff is just absolutely not for me. Mm -hmm. Nice spare there, Ronco. Alright. Some pretty big properties on this board, by the way. Right, go ahead, Chris. Alright. Get some sizable properties on that board at the moment. Oh, look at this. Gummy split. How hey, it's gummy split. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, damn it. That, that one that, that one ten weeble. <laughs> also, a couple more weeks until Sonic and Shadow Generations gets released. Oh, that's right. I heard that they released all, all the three of the, the whole, like, anime shorts of it. Yeah. Um. I hope I'll be able to get it as an early Christmas gift, because that'd be nice, like, 
I have Sonic Generations for Steam, but it doesn't work. Oh no! Oh, oh! I never was able to get it to work because air is like some weird file missing errors or what have you. Something's missing somehow. Like, is okay, see, what the, the hell is up with that? Is it like that? There's a lot of like game technical technical no difficulties, but the like weather yeah. and support. Um, uh, yeah. uh, it's just something's missing for whatever reason, and it co it's causing the game to not run. So it's like I gave up. Yeah, I guess I wasted weird. a bit of money on oh, that. Oh wait, out. That's right, I have one. I guess I'll be able to play it on the Switch eventually if I get I the re-release. Because it's not just the shadow really, not just shadow generations type of thing being released. It's also wait. Sonic Generations, unironically. Oh jeez. Okay. I yeah, forgot Sonic the Generations is included in that game and that re-release. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is currently 10 degrees Celsius in my town, in real life. Mmm. 50F. That's 50... Yeah, 50F. That's like one of the conversions that I actually know offhand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 50F is a 10 C. Just by coincidence. <laughs> Yes. Chip with USPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess it'll be and popping up in my mailbox tomorrow. Yeah. The game that I ordered. Oh, come on. There we go. There. They call it a joy con, but it doesn't sound very joyful to me, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funky. It's the Rage Con! Funky Joy Con! Joy Con got the funk! Woo! <laughs> oh! Joy Con no. Funky Rock! I thought I had that. Hey, Emmy! Yeah? Joy Con Funky Wop! <laughs> Joy Con <laughs> Funky Wop! Joy Con Funky Wop! <laughs> yeah! Have Freedom Rise this way. <laughs> My mom definitely likes him. Well, She's actually been to one of the concerts. Uh, well, technically, that song is Mark Ronson featuring the Bruno Mars. But, uh, you know. But, like, yeah. she's actually been to a Bruno Mars concert. 24 Karat Magic. 24 Karat yeah, Magic she... in me. He has a t-shirt from that. Oh! No, I did not get it. She has a t-shirt from that. Cool. All right, go ahead, Ronco. <sighs> yeah, Bruno Mars is definitely talented for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some of these. <laughs> yeah. Buttercup for Mommy Fierce. <laughs> Take this and that from some of these and one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The episode where Bubbles was basically <laughs> Mojo Jojo, and Mojo yeah. Jojo was so upset by her perfectly replicating <laughs> his speech patterns and insisting that that's not how he speaks. <laughs> oh, boy. I am I'm concise. I'm, I'm clear. Concise. To the point. <laughs> the there point. you are. Okay. There you are. <laughs> I don't know what he's. I don't know what. What I can't understand what she says during his. He like, tries to insist that's oh, not how he. Shoot. He's not the. He doesn't work for the what? Department of Redundancy Department, but yes, he Getting does. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. He speaks quite redundantly. Yeah. Again, like, again, like, how strong she really handled it. You know, the voice. Yeah. What? Um, yeah. She Thomas handled the most. Yeah. did such a good job at that. Uh huh. Uh. All right, Chris. Oh shoot! I wonder who's gonna win this uh, board game.
Alright. Hmm. Okay. My character's basically won this. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow. She's way right ahead. next to the bank. Yeah, and oh, way yeah. ahead of everyone with the money. Oh, just yeah. Just have the world. Yep. Oh, you got the kindling me. Oh, my God. And I will rule this world with all the money I've got. <laughs> well, Mojo, Mojo, Mojo. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be the easiest in some ways to destroy the world, girls. <laughs> yeah. And then Mojo Jojo made it, at one point made his own superpowered kids. The rowdy, the rowdy rough, rough boys. boys. Yes. Yes. Does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, thin hit at the end there. I wonder when those run Rodeo Up boys will come Check out them oh. doodles! I do wonder when those Rody Rough boys will uh, come back. 127. There. Go ahead, Ronco. Give it some time. I hope so. Have they come yeah. back in the new have, have they come back in the new show yet? We're talking about the original stuff. I know, but I'm just wondering if they've come back in the in the new show yet. I haven't seen them. I, I did. I decided not to watch the the reboot. Mm, I mean, I've seen I've seen the parts of the reboot, but it looked bad. But I have no uh, no sign of seeing in that coming back. So yeah, and the original series uh, that you're watching here, Chris, just give them some time. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, there's one fanfic out there in which. In which the rowdy rough boys end up getting a sort of heel face turn and end up becoming the defenders of um, of the town of Citysville. Wow. Ah. Uh, that's not like a good like. The well, best thing about the Powerpuff Girls is finding out that that there is actually a city named Townsville in Australia. <laughs> so you mean is there like Queensland? Uh, oh. Cleveland. It's in the state of Queensland. Oh, Cleveland. Got it. Oh. Queensland in Australia. Cleveland. It's in that state. In uh, northeast Australia. Oh. But yes, there is actually a Townsville in Australia. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that exists. That is so funny. Whose turn is it? Uh, uh, it is yours. Okay. Good day, might haven't had Brecky yet, so might go on a Macca's run soon. My shout. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Bay. <laughs> Thank you all live English. Nataka Spales is indeed Australian. Yeah, I think I... And former, and, <clears throat> I, th I think I actually rented a motorcycle. Not motorcycle. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. My mind my mind is going right now. <laughs> Kime Mori Luna, the Candy Kingdom Princess, has a Harley Davidson in real life. Ah. Oh, right, cause... And she's a level 6 electane player. Alright, Chris. Ronko tied with me, so... Uh... Alright. She has actually Very done electron streams. Very familiar. She's just one level below being a teacher level player. Oh. <laughs> it's just pretty amazing for someone who has that kind of baby vibe. <laughs> See? Uh -huh. Oh, no. All their babies. Oh, 
yes. Look at that. Spin. Ha <laughs> ha. Spin, spin, spin. Nice. It's like a spinner cell. All right. All right. We got one more ball, Chris. And uh, speaking of Hollow Live, Fuwawa and Mokoko Six. are now even closer to a million subscribers. Six. Six fill. Fuwawa Moko. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere so around nine nine seven k. So Chris ends with a one nine. Sorry, one thirty eight. And um, I guess we're going to string number four. Ooh. Bow, bow. I was hoping for a little better than that, but it's all right. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Yeah. Oh, damn it. it was I was watching uh, Bibu playing Black Ops 2, and there was like this moment where she's like making blah, 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 blah noises. <laughs> Bibu is my wifey bun's favorite advent member, by the way. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact about Kosei TV's uh, is that in real life she is half Thai. Her mother is from Thailand. She's wow. actually talking about that. Wow. 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 Yeah. There we go. I remember when she All was right, new to, to the agency and I, I got to see her epic truck driving skills. <laughs> she was driving kind of all over the place. <laughs> oh, like driving like crazy around. Yeah. Just kind of driving in the grass a little. Oh, oh boy. Yes. I remember oh, when please. Gigi Moody had her first post debut stream. She was playing crazy taxi kind of all over the freaking place. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like you're supposed to follow the crazy taxi arrow, obviously. Yeah, and your speed limit is going nuts. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at this strong ass start. <laughs> what? Strike, 10 pin bowling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, Hollow Girls for the win, for sure. <laughs> Indeed. Nice going, Ronko. And still, my favorite Hollow Live member is Tsunomaki Watame from Gen 4. She's the sheep girl. Mm -hmm. Her occupation is supposed to be that of a bard. She has a handheld harp for her for, as part of her first outfit. She is the sheep who did nothing wrong. Oh boy. She is noted as having needed to restart her stream multiple times during her debut. Alright, Chris, your turn. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> She's also noted for having a voice that is similar to oh, Shigure nope. Ui. Shigure Ui. Who oh. is Subaru's uh, VTuber mama. Uh, yeah, Subaru's VTuber mama. It was Subaru's uh. idea for Ui to become a VTuber as well. Cool. Huh? Subaru kind of got confused when Watame was doing her debut stream because of the vo vocal similarity. Yeah. Subaru thought her VTuber mama was re debuting under a new identity. Oh. So they got the Subaru. Or... <laughs> and yes, Dewey so. and Watame have done collabs. Dark With, uh, hmm. Is that like the Muppets? Like, Muppets! Yeah, ah. it has been, you know, yeah, it was, it was 
conversation going on in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I I Oh, okay. That sounds very Yeah, cool. and you have an old cage box alarm clock. Yeah. It's a hand me down for my mom, and I, I I still use it. It still works. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the loud buzzing noises. They help me wake up in the morning. All right, Ronco, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Each of the two alarms that I can set have the different buzzing noises. Mm, there's ding, 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 you know. And then there's yeah. uh, higher pitch. And then I was like. That probably for my, well, probably my phone. I have an alarm, so yeah. But yeah, phone. I ended up using my phone's alarm, alarm during the power outage because of Helene. Uh, <laughs> but it was only once because my power only stayed up for like nine hours or so. Hmm. I see. It's a little scary, the fact that I sleep next to the freaking window. With all that rain and wind. Thank you for making that not be a 710 split game. Four marks in a row, a strike and three spears. Hmm. Shut up and give me my plot leads. Yes, God, this full plot leads. Emmy. Yeah? You owe me plot leads. Yes, I do. A hundred of them, actually. <laughs> 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 Huh? What the heck? That pin? Oh my god, dude. That's how I missed Oh! Him. What a roadblock. That, and, yeah, it did. Oh my god. I still the think it's just funny that Jimmy Carter and Inigami Corone have the same birthday. <laughs> First of October. Yep. Yep, President Carter is 100 now. Yep. And he knows how old Kodoni is at this point. <laughs> She's old in dog years, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Also, they're showing the um, the 1980s remake of the years of the Mars as well. Yeah. Yep, again, two movies. That's going to be the years of Mars and then. The remake one was kind one. I'm just saying. Yeah, the second one and three was the first one. The first one. Uh, first one is now. Uh, and I'm just thinking of. Aku! Yes, it is I. Aku! How yeah. very observant of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I know how to do this. Yeah. Oh, come on! It's a dainty GP emote. So for this week, it's, it's the same ones. We already saw that. Yeah. So next, so we're gonna be uh, next. So next week be uh, all right. Oh come on! Yeah, oh, all the get over all the action that happens in Samurai Jack. What a good show! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Ira Chris, you will love it. Oh, I will. Yeah. After I haven't heard most of it, so. But well, now I realize. Yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm remember I remember. I love it. Yeah, there we go. Spare. Look at this spare. Oh, oh, the wood. Yeah, for that. Wouldn't you believe it? Exactly. <laughs> All right, Ronco.
Hmm. Well, I got the ten. Well, that's good. By the way, I rewatched the Toho thing on YouTube recently. Yes, recently. Mm -hmm. A tool assisted playthrough of double dealing character wherein the player does not move and clears lunatic anyway. <clears throat> As Sakia with her cursed knife uh, shooting type. Yes, it is possible to be a double dealing character as Sakia without moving. Just shoot and bomb as needed. It's kind of insane. No vertical movement, no horizontal movement. Just shooting him spell cards. That's it. And that's enough to get you a lunatic clear. A lunatic 1cc. Yeah, it can be done if you know what you're doing, and you're lucky enough. Mm. You're trying to hear her, Chris. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Toho tool-assisted playthroughs are really fascinating. Oh, man. I still love Jehu Project so much. Wonder what's going to happen next year because next year is going to be one of those usual main series release years. Oh. On the current schedule. The next game will be numbered 20 for the main series. Yeah, it'll be a main yeah, series we'll game numbered 20. Yeah, we'll see what knows. happens. Oh, yeah. yeah, who knows? There's Probably isn't going to be another game like Unfinished Dream of All Living Ghosts, though. Yeah, again, Probably more gonna those go back future. to the usual business. Yeah. More of those future, future Toho projects, so. Mm hmm. <sighs> yeah, soon enough we'll hear from Zune again about that stuff. Hmm. Sometime in uh, early spring, I think. Like somewhere around March. It'll be sometime before any announcements occur and a trial release ends up happening at some point next year. My favorite Jehu game is 20 years old. <laughs> It did turn 20 years old this year. Imperishable Night. Oh, that one um, game that's like the 1v1 combat? Wow. No. Oh. It's the, oh. It's the shooting game where you, where you normally play as a pair of characters that you switch between when you unfocus and focus your shooting. Although, ah. if, you, if you get all, the, all four wow. of the good endings for the teams, you can then unlock Solo character play. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. There's so many of those that do. And there, there are oh. two hundred twenty-two spell cards in Imperishable Light. Oh my and god! It, it is the first game to have spell practice. Mm. The last word spell cards are unlocked individually through specific requirements. No, this game is not available on Steam, unfortunately. Hmm. It is the newest yeah, Toho game that is not. That. It is the newest main series Toho game not available on Steam. Ooh. Yeah, the oldest one being the oldest available being Phantasmagoria of Flower V. There we go. Which Here we will be getting into next year, actually. Go ahead, Bronco. Yeah, mm -hmm. next year we, one of the games we'll be playing for during a Toho, like Toho Week in August, will be Phantasmagoria of Flower View. 
for its 20th oh. anniversary. Oh. Yes, that game was released in 2005. Its trial release is the final time oh. that MIDI, MIDI audio is an option. I mean, the, the option is still listed in the full releases options menu, but it doesn't work. Mm. It's only in the trial mm. version that it actually works, oh. and the older Toho games have that as well. Mm. Yeah, starting with Phantasmagoria Flower V full release, only WAV music is actually available. Mm. Three. Which is good enough as it is. Yeah. Like the more memorable side of Toho's music, anyway. Mm -hmm. WAV instead of MIDI. On another, on another note of Tohu audio, Tohu and audio, Zune has a certain soft spot for FM synthesis. It's kind of it's voice disappointment of it being phased out. Hmm. I think. Yeah, FM synthesis. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good emphasis on that. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff to say about audio in general. Right, yeah. But needless to say, Zune definitely knows what's good when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. His music is just really amazing. But to be fair, yeah, Toho music is just really good. It's a pretty unique style. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm playing Mario Kart Wii on Monday nights, I'll plug my headphones into my other laptop and listen to Tohu music on YouTube. Oh, jeez. Without a line, the Mario Kart Wii track themes? Oh. Oh. Official music and unofficial stuff. Oh, both? Yeah. You mean both at the I'm same time? Thing. Some fan game music to you, like from the Teen Kai Sando games, such as H Holy Song of Birds. Yeah, Those anything like really good music. Like, yeah, because that's an example of that. Yeah, even the fan music is really good. Uh huh. Especially when it's in Zune style. Yeah, they make it more better and well orchestrated yeah. as well. And it gives it that uh, that special Tohu charm. Mm -hmm. Some people are really good at replicating that st that official style. Uh, and Zine's art style is definitely something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Some fans know. would probably say that his best art was an undefined fantastic object. Yeah. But Which we also played this year. Yeah. But there oh, could be more than that. Oh, so out. I mean, to be fair, this guy is make, mostly making the games to get his music out there, probably, and the plots of the games are just kind of an excuse to have the game happen. In yeah. The uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Which is okay. At least that's yeah, what he's, said Yeah, he's got the qualities right, so. Yeah. He just makes his own games because he felt like it. And the fact that, that the protagonist is a girl is mostly because he was saddened by the lack of female a good female protagonist. Mm. Also, Raymu was initially based on Sai from Pocky and Rocky, or Kiki Kai Kai. The Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom. Oh. Mm. And then later on, Raymu would get a, a slightly more unique design, including ah. those detached sleeves. Mmm. Yeah. Starting from the sixth there game and go. onward. All right. Non-traditional and... Miko design, of course. Wow. Yeah. Three spires. And okay, that's all right. Mm. Okay, one twenty-three. Go ahead, Ron. Once upon a time, Raimi had purple hair. That's in the first five games, of course. And, then, and in the second, and, then, so. and in the second game only, Marisa had red hair. Red hair, and then changed. The yes, like a the third game and wow. onward, she has blonde hair. Oh wow! I, I didn't know that. That's interesting. 
but yeah. But they could have kept his same hair, hair color, like for like, all the Telo games. I mean, it is what it is. Then be fair, even in the Windows games, uh, Raimi's hair color is a little inconsistent, going between black and brown. Yeah, I mean that could be the animators like. Uh, job and keep in mind that the official portrait art for the, especially for the shooting games, what? are all done by Zane. Um. Oh. Aside from the Fairy Wars, of course, that's the manga tie-in. So, like the manga artist. I think I did take them this morning. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fairy Wars, being a manga tie-in, had the art done by a different person, the manga artist. Oh. But aside from, but aside from that, all the other shooting games have their portraits done by Zune himself, and along with all the Don Maki and all the music. Hmm. Yeah. It's the collab games that he only it makes like the new character or characters and their specific music, and all everything mm. else is just remixed by the collab partner. Mm -hmm, yeah, in terms, of, in terms of design. So. Eventually, someone else take over the fighting game art stuff. How how do you call him, Moe? Ah. <laughs> I think that actually started with uh, which game was that? Ancient Enemy of Common Flowers, maybe? Urban Legend in Limbo. Urban Legend in Limbo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weeble. There's just a lot of stuff to say about Toho Project, needless to say. <laughs> it's been in yeah. the Guinness Book of World Records as the most prolific indie series of its type. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, Toho Project has actually been in the Guinness Book of World Records once upon a time. Yeah. Cool. Given how prolific yeah. it was. Yeah, that's good. Good personal, good growth of on that. Yeah. Its fans are starting are starting to feel more attached to it. Yeah, it's still relatively popular. But yeah. Uh huh. This series does actually have quite a lot of games now. Mm-hmm. 19 main series games, and a good handful of spin-offs as well. Mm-hmm. And so, so many unofficial fan games. And so, so much unofficial fan music and remixes on top of yeah. all the official stuff. Yeah, and a lot of, like, print works. You know? All right. Yeah. String number five. Oh, uh, well, all, the fan all, the fan music, all the fan music, all the fan games, it's amazing. Yeah. It's no, so if, if, it, if, it, if it exists, there is a to there's probably a Toho crossover of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Market, okay, Probably a total game no. game of every genre imaginable. Oh, you've got to be kidding yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's interesting that if you pay attention to the even the official games, there's a bit of a visual novel element to the ga the official games, you know? The conversations yeah. are in visual novel style. Hmm. So like a comic bookie? It's like that's uh -huh. pretty unique for a shooting it game. Uh, depends on the shooting game. Yeah, oh. but like the style of shooting game that Tohu is, that is pretty unique. That is a pretty unique com and com uh, combination. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, nine and a ten. Go ahead, Ronko. What was that, hun? Hmm. I might actually have to get rid of some of my uh, 
Halloween decorations to replace a light bulb in the living room. Spider wife might actually get in the way. <laughs> How much did I pay for them? I didn't pay for those spider webs. They just came naturally from actual spiders. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking into spider webs. Leave a message and I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt, 1996. Oh god, more hurricanes and far sooner Hector says, I mean, yeah. The weather could be, could be a problem in the next few days. Hmm. And on another note of soon, he is a JoJo fan. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, he has in person shared his favorite JoJo pose. He's done it. <laughs> All right, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of JoJo referencing in the early JoJo series as well, like early in the Windows era, especially with Sakuya. Nice. Has the ability to manipulate time that includes stopping time and throws knives. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he I mean, yes, that's that. that's the one, right? Have fun with that. And I, <laughs> that just definitely comes into play during her fighting game appearances. <laughs> But and the Jojo posing, up. just like Dio. Yeah, but it comes off of us like the weakest link of the, uh, you know. What? What happened? What are you huh? talking about here? What are you talking about here, Chris? Oh, like weakest link. What? 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 All right. No, what was it? Uh, okay then. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's oh. alright. Ooh. Mm. Uh, didn't you bring it into your room at one point? In the bedroom? I could have sworn you brought it into the bedroom at one point. But yeah, Zine's made references to other series as in his own series. Mm. And other uh -huh. series have re made references to Toho. Uh -huh, right, in one Marco. way or another. Like in one anime, there's an episode that shows a Yukiri Remu weather vane. Then there's the fly, and then I think unlockable fly maiden in for PT Kingdom for PS2. That's just literally Remu. I think Zing was slightly involved, is kind of involved with that happening, but like, yeah. Yeah. Uh 
I know. I know, hun. The character, the the me, the me character I play as on Fortune Street is a Tohu character, of course. Yeah, Flandre. Yeah, Flandre, Fran, Frandora Scarlet. Frandora Scarlet. Yeah. Frandora. Oh, At least that's how it's pronounced in Japanese. There is no official English pronunciation. Ah. <laughs> But going by the Japanese writing, it would come up and come out of something like Frandal. Mm. Yeah, Furandol. Furandol. Yeah, Furandol. Uh huh. Furandol. All right. F U R A N D long O R U. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Never mind. Don't don't mind me. I just have to sneeze occasionally. <laughs> oh, well. I don't well, know. Actually, do I sneeze more like a cat actually. <laughs> Yes, just spin around that pin, Wood. Don't knock it over. That would be too nice of you. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, Dave was saying she used to have a Disney alarm clock that played It's a Small World. And she put it on the other side of the room because she said she would swim through tungsten, chew through tungsten, to shut off It's a Small World. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And as we all know, Tehu Project got nearly 100% female characters. There are a few male named male characters. Like, Inzan exists. We've seen him a couple times. The pink cloud character. That's a guy. Moritika Reno, uh, uh, Moritika Renosuke exists in the, uh, at least one of the mangas. Hmm. Mm. He's half human, half shot. yokai. He is right, an right. he's a shopkeeper. I can apparently nope. identify the value of any given object just by seeing it. And it, it kind of and it kind of went a little crazy when he saw a Game Boy. All right, Ronco, go ahead. Yes, a Game Boy had indeed been found in Game oh, Boy. What, what the hell? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what the uh, hell? Wait, uh, we're, we're stuck. I think we've got, I think I... No, it was actually Hero Chris's turn. Wait, uh, but but well, it kind of worked out anyway, you know why? Because last time I only bowled one frame. <laughs> so it works out. Whoops. Go ahead, Hero Chris. <laughs> then I realized that Rocco kind of just speed through ahead. <laughs> I was seeing like on uh, DJ screens that like uh, she uh, she was blowing with DJ at the same time. Rolling <laughs> around at the speed of sound, got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Gotta follow <laughs> my bowling ball. It's like, it's <laughs> oh, I love Sonic music so much. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I really hope it's like, I don't ever come, ever comes in, so I'm really great. I still. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Shadow was only intended to appear in Sonic Adventure 2, but the fans liked him so much that they kind of brought him back. <laughs> I know. Uh, no. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise he would have he would have actually he was actually supposed to die at the Ooh. end of Sonic Adventure 2. Nine drop. Well, let's see what the movie version handles that, so. Yeah. This year is the year of shadow. Uh-huh. Yeah. He is the second most popular Sonic character. Mm hmm. Right behind Sonic himself, I assume. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, Sonic is the one that started yeah. the whole, the whole like, franchise. It's Sonic and the Eggman. <laughs> and Eggman. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Eggman. Yeah. The Doctor was always known as Eggman in Japan, by the way. Yeah. And then, like, in like the classic times, he was referred to as Robotnik. He was referred to as Dr. Robotnik in the West. Funny thing uh -huh. is that the first game released in North America before Japan. Oh, yeah, that. Ah. And they westernized his, his Sonic's design more than it already was. Mm -hmm. And Sonic was made with the West in mind in the first place. Eventually, mm -hmm. his right. design would become universalized in Sonic Adventure. Go ahead, Ronko. <laughs> I love the Sonic Adventure era art style. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice like... and clean. Yeah, it, it, it looks it looks kind of a little like kind of choppy a bit. About the but it's, it's still really good for what it is. Still, yeah. It, the game look, runs pretty well, so... Yeah. Just the official art style from that time of the franchise. It's just really nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> you also get to see it with the advanced and trilogy. Mm-hmm. And unironically, my favorite Sonic Advance game is Sonic Advance 3. Hmm. It has three color palette modes. One for the original Game Boy Advance, one for the Game Boy Advance SP, and one for Game Boy Player. Button combination on the, the title screen change. Hmm. Cycle through them. Oh, uh -huh. All right. But yeah, Sonic the Sonic Advance trilogy is actually pretty good. The games were made by Dips. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, we all know the original Mega Drive games and CD game. Mm-hmm. The oh, classic indeed. trilogy in CD. Sega huh. Genesis. Yeah. Sega! Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. The, that, the Sega chant. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Oh. I still have the cartridges, by the way. <laughs> My Sonic 1 cartridge is labeled not for resale, by the way. I think it came with my Genesis. Mm. She's selling her stocks. Oh, jeez. Hmm. All right, I think after this we're going to go for the duck pin. Hey, what's up, Raven Wizard? Because I am fading <laughs> today. I'm sorry, but I am kind of fading. Oh, I Are got that Are you turning into faded glory? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I refer to my Ooh, oh, oh. clothing. 
That's how oh, that's oh. I refer to my faded clothing, by now, the way. Now, if only that wood was pointing the opposite way. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 710 is not happening. <laughs> Look at those net worth than the DS game. <laughs> All right, 120. Go ahead, Ronka. You're doing well? Me too. That's also a pretty nasty split. But I just didn't get a lot of sleep this morning, so... Huh. Oh my gosh! I almost nailed it. You saw that flipping pin, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. Uh. Wham. I almost got it. Not sure. Hey, it's Kami split. Uh. Actually, it's been a bit since I've gotten that. Yeah. Hey, I screwed uh. it up. Uh oh, how badly? I missed ah. it. I missed the pin again. One or nine. Uh. All right, one or nine for Ronco. Hero Chris. Mm hmm. It is excellent. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's right. Alright. Sweat. Sweat. Fuck me, James. Oh, nope. Ooh, little. Ooh. Tomorrow I plan to have grilled cheese sandwiches and chicken alfredo, but with penne noodles. <laughs> Leftovers. Oh. Mm. So that sounds delicious. My mom w w was going to get me to have more tomato soup, but I'm like, I need to eat those leftovers. <laughs> Oh. All right, ducky time. It's been a while since I've had real tea game. And as you know, with duck pins, we have Ronco start first, then Hero Chris, then me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shiba, shiba, shiba. Shiba, shiba. <laughs> oh, Super is so cute. Oh, yeah. So Super. much fun energy. She, uh, the funny thing is, like, yes, she's like the loudest Hollow Life member. Out of anyone else. <laughs> yeah, her de her decibels are like over ninety. Oh, oh my god, that's wow. Like somewhere over eighty or ninety or something like. That. Her her loudness had actually been officially measured as being unsafe for usual hearing settings. <laughs> Please, don't watch her with headphones on. Uh, I don't know if I get lost her. I would like for the speaker like down like one. Her voice is you. pretty unique and easily noticeable in a crowd. So whenever she end up going out to, for dinner with like Choco, they go and uh, Choco would reserve a private room so no one would hear her. And then, uh, and then, yeah. she, and then uh, her voice cracks. So. Yeah, she's basically yeah. Saber basically speaks in her voice crack. Oh, <laughs> I see. So her voice kind of goes all over the place. Mm. But it's so much fun. And yes, Saber yeah, you can speak it. English. Uh huh. She has spoken English on stream a few times. It's not bad. 
Ah. She has strong Sukomi aura to her. <laughs> <laughs> More than as there the and in the Well yeah. Oh, Alright, yes. Yeah. Once Ronco's done with that. Hold on. Oh, I was just gonna on, say once on. Ronco's done hold with on. that. Yeah. <clears throat> just get yeah, she's ready. got one more yeah. fill go in that box. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah, Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Shiva, 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 Shiva. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. She's been with the agency for six years. Oh, wow. As part of the uh, main branch is second generation. <laughs> Hi, Hector. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, almost destroyed. Yeah, I really like Seabury. Uh -huh, same. Uh -huh. Ah, not hard. Okay, ah, this is gonna be nice. insane. Hey, Emmy. Yeah? Look at my DS game. Oh, God. Holy shit, Everyone's you're all... Everyone's target value. The, the next person that hits the tank's got it. That tank. Yeah. The bank. And, and that's gonna be my character. Go ahead, Ronko. And that's going to be my character because I'm the closest and going it in the correct direction. Hmm. Oh, it's a character. Oh, again. Yeah. But yeah, everyone's past the target value. Jessica just passed the target value, but it doesn't count for her vi getting a victory because she wasn't already there upon touching the bank through the. And she she uh, she passed it through the promotion, but because she wasn't already there, she didn't win. Oh, oh. That's how it works on the DS game. You cannot promote into victory. You need to already be at or above the target value. I guess it's a good thing they changed that for the Wii game. <laughs> oh. Where you can actually promote into t to victory. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a weak. That oh. What you talking about, Amy? Oh. And yes, I won. Dana, Dana left something in the car. Hmm. There you go. I was in second place. <laughs> The women get top three. Uh. Your turn here, Chris. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, strike! Champion bowling. Champion bowling. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that before. You've, you've told me about it before as well. Yes! 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 Oh. Double strike! Yes! Nice, oh Chris! Oh wow. my god, dude. Check I out the needles meeting up at the top right. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow, dude. I can't believe I pulled it off. <laughs> nice. Yeah, look at the noodles. Oh, wow. Oh, I got a spare with that. 
think I was going to get that spare. Yeah, it's like you're all, it's like you're, all the noodles reach at the top. Yeah. Uh, really a thin <laughs> hit in duck pins? Come on. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. All right, Ronco, go ahead. There you go. Pretty fair. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Don't mind the login thing on my screen. <laughs> Turn off the DS. All right, Chris. Oh, dude. Man. My three in a row, dude. Oh, almost. Wrong, wrong capture. Wrong thing. There we go. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get to see my wonderful normal red Joy-Con. <laughs> <laughs> I am still very happy I with that purchase, right now, getting the pair of standard red Joy-Cons that are otherwise Japan exclusive. <laughs> I was like, I wanted a pair of red Joy-Cons that weren't neon red, ah. so it's like, yeah, they have regular red exists. <laughs> But yeah, strangely enough, they were only released in Japan. Yeah. But thankfully, they are region free, of course. Wow. All right, another spare. And. I used them for my TTYD. And this one is likely going to be another spare. There we go. All right, Ronco, go ahead. Oh, go on. Hmm? Eh? What? Huh? That's H A, not H U H. Nani Dio? All right. Also, Hanya is uh, coming back. Hanya, the genius from V Shoujo. Seems like she's feeling better again now. Ah, oh, she's a, she's a cutie. Yeah, V-Shoujo has some good members, that's for sure. Mm. Wait. Hmm? Um, wait a minute. Uh, it's, it's your turn, Chris. Wait, DJ, you haven't pulled your... your you said it's no, an no, eight no, box no. here. Uh, no, remember, oh, Ronko oh, goes oh, first oh, in Duck sorry, Pins. Sorry, sorry, okay. Yeah, Ronko goes yeah, yeah, first yeah. in Duck Pins. Like Duck Pin. We're doing yeah, the Shiba Shiba Dance. Yeah. I thought it was like... Hey, Duck Pin is Ronko's reason. favorite, so she gets to go first. Right. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm last. Bring that ESE has stopped responding. <laughs> 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 oh. Thinky thing no work. Yeah, thinky thing no work sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get that thing. Yeah. 
System threat exception not handled. Brain.sys. Yeah. There. Now. There's your blue screen. Now. Right. Go. Yeah. Yeah, thinky thing dot S Y yeah, thinky thing dot S Y S. We are going, uh, we're checking ah. some stuff and rebooting the system. With that colon in parentheses sad face. Uh huh. Oh hey. Hmm? Oh yeah, we're almost finished with our um okay, yeah. We're almost finished with our like, boring, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And... Uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. And Ronco's up. Up and down and all around. But this isn't Speed Highway, Who's is that, it? Who's that, Chris? Uh, oh, who? Yeah, who was that? And who was that? The voice. Oh, oh, that was my mom. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. My mom's asleep. Yeah, yeah, my mom's asleep too. Everyone say hi to Hero, Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One two two. It's just yep, one, one two two. two. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, yep, yep. It's just one two two. Mhm. Mm yep, it's one fifty nine. No, it really isn't, but. <laughs> mhm. Mm False. <laughs> oh, spare. Mhm. Mm yep. Holy, holy, holy. Oh. Oh, it's still a good lead. Oh my god, dude. I, I mean, okay. Oh, no! I mean, I choked that pretty hard, though, so. Ah. Uh, Damn, dude. I could have had a better, oh my god. I could have had a better oh my score. god. I could have had a better high score if I got that spared, also. Oh. This one is. It is what it Damn, is. Dude. What it shall be. What it was. Ah, forever. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Nope. I wore the wrong outfit the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I got one thirty-one. Emmy, what? I wore the wrong outfit the whole time. Ah, don't worry too much about it. Yeah, who cares? Take it easy. I had to <laughs> get my bowling outfit dry cleaned. Yeah, day. yeah. That's <laughs> like, fine. Let's say that. <laughs> All right. All right. Great bowling tonight, folks. Great bowling tonight. Yeah, just. <laughs> As you can see, um, on this outfit, I actually have a badge on. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's oh, like yeah, your front it. here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, I can see it underneath. Yeah, underneath your front hair. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, just like my just like my squid hair covers the bowling pins on my shirt, partially. <laughs> <laughs> All you can see is the big giant yellow five. <laughs> TV5. Yeah, I, I, I would have I worn my bowling outfit, but I had to get, have to take into the dry cleaner to study. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Um, maybe I'll remember next time. Well, tomorrow night at about 2 a.m. Eastern, 
we shall check back in to the coat of the lamb. Oh, the sheep. For a scary Saturday. Yeah, we kind of what that means. Join her members. And well, at one point I had seven people in my cult. Now I think you know, I, I think ever since it's dropped down to like three or four. I gotta, I gotta rebuild it. I, what I got, what I gotta do is I gotta not be afraid to crusade. Because that's the <laughs> Because that's the thing. I try to get my <laughs> camp to where I like it before I go off for a crusade and leave everyone to their own devices. Mm. But um, but yeah, I uh, yeah, I I can't be afraid to crusade. I gotta keep. Yeah. I just gotta keep going. Yeah. The funny thing is that not too long ago, <laughs> Gigi Moody made sheep noises and it was like, Step aside, Watame, we've got a new sheep girl in town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Dana, Dana, Dana wants to join me yeah, as G the goat. Yeah, Gigi is my favorite. Uh, how live English and and uh, oh and I also have to link it to my Twitch too. I have to link it to my Twitch so that so that y'all in chat can do stuff too. Cause I. All right, all right. Let's uh, do our shout outs for the evening. Our collab partners tonight were Ronko Hoshino. And the legendary hero, Chris. Yeah, hot time. What are you And also earlier you in the wrong, chat right? room, we had GC2, the reverse two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you know, Maki Watame, the sheep he did nothing wrong. <laughs> sheep did nothing wrong. Sheep in the big city. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who's on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's see who's on. Yeah, I, I still have the episode where you find out Sheep has been the antagonist all along. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. Let's... And it makes so much sense given the type of show it is in the first place. Uh. Like, you know what? That's not surprising. <laughs> Actually, uh, let's read someone I don't think I've ever rated this streamer before. Uh, VTuber, I think. Uh, yeah, VTuber. Um, um, Japanese VTuber, uh, Shigure Fufu. Huh. And she's playing Splatoon 3 out this time. <laughs> S H I G U R E F U F U. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna so we're gonna raid um Shigure Fufu. And until tomorrow night, you know what to do, folks. Follow and subscribe. Join the particle acceleration. You can also join us on Discord. That is exclamation mark Discord in the chat. Or scroll down to where it says uh, join the particle acceleration on Discord. Until tomorrow, I, I am DJ Particle. I have been here with Rancho Hoshino and Legendary Hero Chris. And we are out of here. Peace. Take it easy. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Stay fresh. Good night.